So what I've done is filled in this table for all the percents that we just got on the previous table so we can use it here. And I just want to run through a couple of them. Remember when we find 4.99% of 45, we're going to have to do 0.0499 times 45. So that's 4.99% of 45 and it's 2.2. And since we're talking about people, we will call that two people. And then 5.07, so 0 0.0507 times 45 and I get 2.2 again, or 2.3 if I round. So again, I'll have two people. Then I can add those two. It gives me a total of four people from the College of Business. And here I'm looking at 6.93, 0.0693 times 45. And I get 3.1, so I'll have three College of Business males and then 0.1486 times 45. I have 6.6, .6, so I'm going to say 7. College business females for a total of 10 college of business people. Point, or so it's a college of ed, sorry. 7 college of ed females for a total of 10 college of ed people. And then 0.1167 times 45. This is liberal arts males, and it looks like I should have five of them. And then 0.2167 times 45, and I should have 9.75. So I'm going to change that to 10 liberal arts females, add those two up, I have 15 liberal arts people, gives me 6.8, so 7 females that are non-degree undeclared for a total of 13 non-degree undeclared. I want to add up those numbers, so I have 10 plus 4 is 14 plus 15 and then 3 plus 13 is 16, so I'll add in a 16, and I get exactly 45. That's great. Now across the males, I have 6, let's see if I can show that better, 6, 7, plus 5 is 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. So I have 17 males for my survey, and I have 17 here, 18, 19, 20, 27, 28. Looks like 28. So I'll do 28 plus 17, 45. Okay, so it looks like what I've got is when I did my rounding for each, the numbers came out just right. So remember that 99.99 that I had on the previous chart? Because I kept two decimal places, it didn't have any effect on this chart. So you want to make sure that you're keeping some decimal places on your percents, and then it makes your chart a little bit more accurate when you get to the, the actual choosing the number of people that you're going to talk to. So that's handy to keep in mind. Um, let's see if I forgot to tell you anything. No. Now the last thing, we talked about this briefly before, is that I want to list out what are the categories of students that I have to take random samples of. And I'm going to need to, I'm also going to want to write the number of people that will be in each sample. So the categories of students are going to be College of Business males, for example, and I'm going to need two of them. So I'll say two college of business males and I will need two college of business females 
Okay, and that takes care of my first column, the College of Business. Now I need to do the same thing for College of Ed, College of Liberal Arts, College of Fine Arts, and the undeclared non-degree seeking students. And what I want to do is make sure I list how many I will need from that and what category. And then remember what you're doing in the real world. Say we wanted to know a 45 person sample that was stratified based on our two important characteristics. The first one was gender, and the second one was the college of their major. Okay, so with those two important characteristics, we came up with, you need two male college of business students. Okay, that's one stratification or one quota. And then remember what we do next is list out all the male college of business students. And, and number them, one through however many we have, I've forgotten already. And then do a random order for that number of, of male college business students. If say you have 55, do 55 in a random order and take the first two. The first two from your randomly selected, randomly ordered list is going to give you your random selection for this stratification then you would do the same thing for female College of Business students. List out all the female College of Business students and give them each a number and say there's 500 of those. So then you take 500 numbers to random.org, have it shuffle them and take the first two. Okay, then we'll do the same thing for every category of people. So I'm gonna go ahead and fill out the rest of this and you can fill yours out. I'll show you mine in a second. Okay, so here's my list then, and you can see it matches my table. I have three College of Ed males, so that comes from that comes from this intersection here, male students and College of Ed. There's three there. Seven female College of Ed students listed over here. Five liberal arts males, ten liberal arts females, and so on. So you fill in the whole table that way. And that tells me what lists I need to make from my population and randomly choose the first, however many are listed here, in this case, the first 10 College of Liberal Arts females and so on for all of these to choose my stratified random sample.